Young's decision making. It's time for some SK Telecom rise, isn't it, Doug? Yeah, I think so. We'll see what they decide to play, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the rise. Uh, we would surmise. Would we? That's right. Could be a surprise, but we already know. Before the cast, I, I had some fries. <laughs> so you actually did. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right. Well, same bands so far in this next game. I'm stopping you, Doa. I'm sorry, <laughs> you've been cut off. Oh, man. I am really glad that The Mask wasn't a good movie. Otherwise, I would have had to say somebody stop me. <laughs> All right. That was a close one. Lulu will be banned this game by SKT, actually. And oh, there's the Urgot as well. So, well, Callista, first pick for Bang. Yeah, it's a big pick, too. We've seen what he can do on that champion, and they had to give him something. Frees up the Sejuani, though, for Eve if they want to take it. And Rumble could be the selection again. You know, and it's just more of. Kuve, you know, hearing a lot about this rumble, but then when he actually plays it in games, it just isn't working. Well, he died multiple times, 1v1. SKT had a solid counter pick in NAR, and yeah. the ganks showed up often. Well, they still Tom, have it Tom really game. did a good job of camping that top side and making sure that Marin got ahead on NAR, and at that point, he just had that early mob dealing so much damage. Yeah. Now, we'll see if this Nautilus gets locked in, because it could be going jungle or support. We've seen both so far here in Champions. What do you think Samsung would be more likely to run, jungle or support? I think it's probably support. It does seem more like EVE style and you Rumble. Wraith style? Uh, Wraith style, rather. Uh, and we'll see it locked in, though. I'm not sure. All right, we'll see where it goes. It is a bit of a flex pick here in Korea. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you would take it that early and not go for the Sejuani if you were going to put that Nautilus in the jungle. But of course, it does keep things rather mysterious. And Easy Hoon will lock into Vlad this game. We've seen Faker play it. It wasn't yep. great when Faker tried it. Coco proved to be a stronger player on that Vladimir, but he did play it against Samsung. Now, Samsung responded with mid lane Jarvan the last time they were in this situation. They could try that again. And I mean, you'd think that would be good against Vlad. I almost feel like Easy Hoon is kind of taunting them, you know, because it's the exact same situation that they were in their, their last match. Well, I think the attitude for SKT is, well, we'll just outscale it anyway. Yeah. No need to worry. We have that yeah. confidence coming into this match. And that is I think also the Nautilus was taken because we've seen that Nautilus Callista lane is really brutal. GE did work yeah. with that combination. And oh, don't pick Nunu. This is totally, I mean, I feel like Samsung needs to play to their strengths, and Nunu is not doing that. It will be. They're going to lock it in. All right. Well, Blood Boiled Graves can do some damage, but I just don't think it's good. Well, they. I think their reasoning is they want the Graves so that they can at least duel in the 2v2. Well, that's the idea, but, I mean, we've seen what happens when Samsung tries to play a little bit slower, you know, and it, it, it doesn't work. So... Yvonne Nunu, I think, is a pretty pretty big risk. We're assuming it's going to be a jungle Nunu, which it more than likely will be in the support Nautilus, but there's always that possibility that Nunu has played the support position. I really doubt wow. it, especially against support Kennen again. SKT just basically got a better version of the comp they played last game. Yep. They just replaced uh, Ezreal for Callista, so... <laughs> All right. And they have Vlad instead of Lulu. Yeah. Which is absolutely fine. A little bit different strength, but... Again, they have the big setup. Well, Vlad and Kennen going in together, that's yep. going to be a lot of damage. Especially after Tom landing that Glacial Prison. Yep, or and, Bang and with the big ult. Yeah, so they've got they've got even better. Oh, man, Callista Kennen is so brutal in Think terms about of it. engage. Fate's call. Oh. I know, right? Fate's call in the slice disgusting. of Maelstrom. disgusting. Good luck, guys. Wow, so what does Samsung do? They're trying to get themselves out of this mess. They've got a mid laner to pick, I would imagine. But what can you possibly pick? Fizz, that's what's gonna be, Bliss. It's actually a good pick. You hear the crowd going crazy, you know, not because just because it's a good pick, because Bliss is like a solo queue hero He's on this champion. He's got like a thousand games on Fizz and solo queue, so yeah. we saw it earlier this season. Wasn't impressive in team fights. He didn't have the greatest target selection, but honestly, uh, Fizz with the Grievous Wounds causes Vlad a lot of problems. And yeah, pick. Fizz has been nerfed, but it is a good Vlad counter legitimately. Uh, as long as you can land that fish and he doesn't pull it. So that's that's interesting, of course. He is that Fizz specialist, like you're saying, Doa. He really did show up. He killed Faker 1v1 Yeah. Uh, with Fizz, but it's just that 
he still had a lot of that questionable team fight play on Fizz, diving the back line without a lot of forethought, frequently dying in that situation. And so will we see that? We'll see really, I feel, how much Bliss has evolved in the last few months as a team fighter when he's on this Fizz. Yeah, he certainly will. Solo Q Fizz wasn't working out for him. We'll see if professional team fight Fizz can do the trick here. And again, if SKT wins this game right here, they'll lock up second place overall. And that'll feel pretty good. And they had a very easy time with this type of composition last game. We'll see if Samsung puts up more of a fight as we move into the game. Let's see who takes it. It's time, SKT versus Samsung Galaxy Game 2. And welcome back, Easy Hoon and the rest of SK Telecom looking to lock up second place overall in the standings here in the regular season in their match against Samsung Galaxy here. And Bliss, when it all comes down to it, back on his most comfortable champion and getting hit immediately by Wolf. <laughs> I love that we're seeing this again. And SKT, they had to know that this was a possibility coming into this game if they wanted to play, pick Vladimir. This is hybrid pen, as so you can see. Yep, on this list right there. And missing that shuriken, but Wolf checking the brush all oh, the hi. same. And there is, oh, Bang. Oh, Bang gets stunned, and there's a slow Wraith doing a lot of damage to him. Wow, Bang. Barely not having to use any of his summoners. That was about as close as it gets. It's good invade by Samsung, though. You see that cannon up in the mid side. You can move into the tri brush pretty safely under those circumstances. Deep Ward's coming in from Tom and Marin though, so they will see if the camp is being started up at the Krugs. We'll have a good idea of the Gromp start here and the pathing from Eve. Yep. And Bang will get back to lane easily enough, along with the minions. Yeah, same thing though for Samsung. They also got that Krug Ward, so both junglers starting Gromp this game. We'll see where they go from there. And looks like we are going to see the Krug takeaway for Wraith and Fury. Gonna split that. Nope. Oh, they split the XP equally. I was hoping that Wraith would try some shenanigans with level two. Ha. Yeah, we saw Gorilla do that, and it worked pretty well. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked in this game uh, because if I think they would have potentially uh, well, if it was a lane swap and if they saw. Sichuani over at Crux. So there are certain yeah. circumstances, but that's a very particular play. Well, you have no idea if Tom's, you know, going, whoa, on the bang, there we go. Slow, more damage put onto him. Nicely done but, by yeah. Wraith and Fury. Wraith didn't know that Tom was going down to red or where he'd be going after that start up on blue side. So, yep, no level two craziness this time. That's but. a really good advantage. Uh, yeah. Bang and Wolf still waiting on that. They only took the small Krug. So they were behind in experience, and Samsung gets the drop on him. Wow, is Bang's Callista AD really 22 for KDA? Yes. Holy cow. Well, he hasn't had it that many games, but... He's had a few. He's had a few. It's pretty incredible, though. Tom will just go ahead and grab red. And so, really, the big story here is how this Fizz is going to match up against his Vladimir. You know, is Easy Hoon going to be able to... Well, take on potentially, you know, what a lot of people would say is the best Fizz in Korea. Yeah, this is uh, this is an interesting matchup, and you know, Vladimir isn't going to have that harassment early. Wow, Marin really going in right there <laughs> after that pushing the lane up. This is an interesting situation, though. He could get cut off from the other side. He looks like he's barely going to squeeze nope. through. Ah, Eve was going after the Rift Scuttler anyway. Yeah, and Marin not really losing out on any XP or farm right there. So farm farm even in the mid lane, but you have to be worried about Fizz starting to all in Vlad. He's after six because Oh, damage on the wolf, that cannon turning, there's a stun on the Wraith. We have a couple supports that can stun That's here. A Bang. lot of damage. Bang ate a really big buckshot right there. Yes he did. Looked like he wanted to maybe continue turning because Tom was right there, but they didn't find the opportunity. I think a ward spotted him. 
Whoa, on to Wolf again. Wraith really just kind of going crazy aggressive here in the spot lane. Tom smites that Rift Scuttler, getting chased down by Eve, but Eve is going to duck into his own jungle. As you can see from the mini map. So both junglers with the uh, duos and bot being a little bit lower health there, being very careful to be around right now. Such a tanky bottom lane with the Graves passive and Nautilus shield though. You have to be oh yeah, really careful about how you deal with this if you're SK Telecom. Well, they probably need Tom to be around and Easy Hoon starting to pull ahead a little bit in CS. Oh, Eve coming in though. There's a snowball with Easy Hoon's name on it. There it is. Bliss backing away. Took a lot of damage from Easy Hoon and no summoners used on either side. Too close to the turret right there. Just yep. a little bit of a check and getting some relief for Bliss who still is getting harassed because he isn't really in a position to all in. But I don't really know how much uh, this is going to help Bliss because the new new jungle makes it quite difficult for Bliss to get support when he hits that level six new new. Yeah, I just don't feel like the new new support is going to be all that helpful for Samsung. I mean, what do you think yeah. their plan is as far as using this? I don't know. Obviously, it's not very strong in particular with Graves, and they no. don't have enough. I mean, Fizz maybe, but. I just don't see the synergy. I mean, yeah, the ult maybe slows people down and makes it easier to do more damage with Equalizer. You could say that, but, you know, that would put a lot of pressure onto Eve to be, like, right in the faces of the other the enemy team, you know? I don't really see a situation where Jarvan isn't better right here. Yeah. Is the thing. Yeah. Jarvan also would have brought that earlier pressure so you could all in right when Bliss hit six before the jungle. They're going to jump onto Kuve here, trying to make a difference. They get the knock up onto Kuve. He uses Five. Flash already, and there's first blood going to Tom. That looked easy. Uh, good Arctic assault, actually, from Tom Yep. to secure that knock up, and Marin and Tom snag another kill onto Kuve. It's the only not been an easy match for him. Only They're had to use Smite. Yeah. That was it. They didn't even need to use a Gnarled. No, no they did not. Uh, I don't believe Gnar was six at the time though. So. Yeah, well, either way they didn't need it. <laughs> Just because they didn't use it doesn't mean they <laughs> needed it. Touche. <laughs> Looks like Samsung may go for a dragon here, but I feel like it might be a little bit late to try something like that now. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. Just gonna punch some Sentinels instead. You know, Easy Hood really zoning out Bliss right here, Eve coming through, so he's not going to be able to protect his pink ward. Mm -hmm. Tom just trying to get up to six as fast as he can. And Bliss wow. has no mana. Yeah, and Bliss is really taking the worst end of a lot of these trades, too. Uh, Bliss also going Trinity Force in this game. Oh, you're right. Well, that's probably part of it, too. I don't think that's going to be very useful, actually. You're, well, you're not going to be able to all in Vladimir with the makings of a Trinity Force at six, so doesn't that kind of take away a big part of what makes yeah. this lane good for Fizz? Also, what are you going to do in the late game? You can't split push without that teleport very effectively, and Frozen Heart isn't going to mess up SK Telecom that badly, and typically on these Fizz, is you build Trinity Force into Frozen Heart. We'll see how this works. And it's also just not Bliss came into prominence as an AP Fizz. Obviously, yeah. that's been hurt. AD Fizz, generally the better pickup right now. It's just not something we see in the in the mid lane. And, you know, honestly, I wonder if you do that, if Hexranker's the better first buy. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, too, actually. If you're against one of these AP mages, then starting with Phage as opposed to Hexranker. Right. Good, good point. Yeah, it's good in the top lane, but... Well, I mean, the thing is, too, is that Bliss has undoubtedly played a lot more Fizz games than anybody else. So this is what he feels comfortable bringing against Vladimir. Can't really argue with the guy, but hasn't been too successful so far at this game. Nope. Tap into the Q right there. Yep, and the ward. Oh, going in. Can they get? There's a chilling smite. And I don't think Bliss is getting out. Oh, he flashes the ult from Tom, but Easy still gets in there. Didn't even have to use flash right there. Just using nope. the goat, ghost. The goat. The goat. <laughs> the goat for the pursuit. Now we need Goat Rider Vladimir skin. Wolf pops his ultimate right away after Wraith goes in, and Wraith may regret that one. Fates <laughs> call, and that is a dead support. Oh, man. Are you sure you want to hook a cannon with your anchor, Wraith? I don't know if that's the best that idea. That was actually hilarious because the <laughs> knockup happened on Bang right as he was pulling Wolf into the Fates call, and yeah. they were able to shoot him right back out. So Wolf actually avo avoiding that CC a little bit. And that's showing that power of the support cannon right here. 
I, this is just another series where SK Telecom really debuts some very interesting, very powerful picks. They've been doing that all season long, too. I mean, usually in the past, it was the Samsung teams, right, that were kind of innovated, bringing the new picks into the scene. But this season, SKT and GE have kind of been it. Yeah, especially SKT, really. I mean, yeah. We think about how much, well, yes, other teams have played it, but Faker with that mid lane Ezreal starting a lot of the double AD craze early on in this season. And then, uh, of course, the Cassiopeia first really working in Easy Hoon's hands. And now we see the Anivia mid lane Vladimir. Of course, CJ the first seemed to play that, but SKT the first seemed to play it with one of these ultra tank compositions. And I think that's where the pick really shines. Right. Well, Eve is going to be throwing a few more wards down, I guess. Wow. And Eve is so far behind. He doesn't. Yeah. He hasn't completed his jungle item yet. Going for that faster sight stone just to help out his team. Kuve still lagging far behind. Doesn't have the haunting guys completed yet. And looks like Fury will be going. BF sorted a brutalizer so for some oh. burst damage. Oh, snowball into Wolf. <laughs> Immediately pops Eddie. Pretty simple to get out of that. Good warding from Samsung. What's yeah. going on? They're well, they need more than wards. That's the that's the tricky part. They are getting some vision. SKT though, already with about a two and a half thousand gold lead. Tom and Wolf are working really well together this series to get wards in. Tom has been virtually no danger so far. He hasn't made any silly plays, hasn't face checked, and now they've got a 2v1 mid lane going. You know, yep. it's it's really interesting watching Tom because, yeah, again, it's against I am, it's against Samsung, of course, but he's making moves like someone who's been in this league a lot longer. Yeah, it's uh, certainly an impressive debut. And he's been with the team for a while now, just announced the second half of the season. Yeah, now. he's been practicing with them, but he hasn't had a lot of, you know, actually in booth time, and that does make a difference. Keeping his start. back, yeah. I think the 1-3-1 one, one, maybe best idea here. I think Samsung's sw swapping out into that mid lane, but Easy Hoon's already nine. That's kind of the point where you want to be on Vladimir right now. Has the woe to complete. So his sustain is very, oh God, Marin's going for a. <laughs> He's doing it again, Della. I love it. Hey, you know, it worked last game. Why not? Why not keep it going? He just advanced it even faster. At least he yeah. built a cowl before building it last game. No, okay. Don't need it this time. Oh, Hemo Plague, Izuun trying to get in for a play. Oh, Wraith chasing, there's a pool. He got the wall and not Izuun. Alt use, flash, there's a knockup. Wraith still chasing, they got the slow on Vlad as well. Two teleports Keeping. coming in though. Snowball keeps Izuun slowed down. Eve, Eve pops that all rather, Marin. No Meganar quite yet, trying to fight. Whoa, what a knock from Tom. Oh, and Wolf comes in too. Oh man, is that brutal. A double kill for Marin. That was just painful to watch. Damn. <laughs> Even Samsung's like, yeah, yeah, we got owned. Oh, man. They're, they're not done yet. I guess they just want to kill Wraith, too. Yeah, Wolf needed another kill. I can't I can't disagree. <laughs> Holy cow, what great timing from SKT to turn that one around. Oh, it looked like kidding. Easy Hoon had really overextended, but he managed to drag <laughs> it out long enough to bait that. It was so cleanly executed. Look at this. Look at Tom yeah, coming here. Yeah, and I mean, Tom Arctic assaulting right there just to get there a little bit faster and Wolf running up. There's a flash ult from Sejuani and Wolf also flashing the wall right there. So in the nick of time to save Easy Hoon's hide. What a, what a spectacularly coordinated engage too. Look how fast they came in after yeah. Marin had TP'd. And if you watch the mini map right there, they were just spamming all of their movement abilities to get there as fast as possible. And then immediately investing with the flash. Great turnaround off of what looked like a really silly initial play by Easy Hood. Man, they baited that out. Well, yeah, that was just one of those situations where you see just how good this team is, where on the fly you can that make a decision like this and everyone executes perfectly. Tom really nailing his Sejuani ult tonight overall. Yeah, well, really nailing everything overall tonight. And really nailing everything since he started. <laughs> uh, Easy Hoon's like, uh-oh, guys, I made a mistake. Can we just, like, crush them in a team fight? And they're like, yeah, sure, we're on our way. <laughs> it's like spamming the assist me ping. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Please. <laughs> I made a mistake. Save me. 
Oh, okay. We'll just have to use that mistake to get an insurmountable lead. And that's pretty much what they have. They're 8,000 gold ahead at 1430 now. Keep in mind, they were 7,000 ahead at 17 minutes last game. They're 8,000 ahead at 14 now. And I think we're going to see another turret go down pretty quick for SKT. We'll do it the next minion wave. And it's worth noting, too, that SK Telecom has really been rocketing up the solo queue rankings recently as a team. Of course, Deft held the number one spot for most of the season, but actually Marin has it right now. Deft at number two, Faker at number three. And then they have a bunch of players in the top 30 as well, yeah. including Bang, who has two accounts in the top 30. So it really looks like they're starting to turn it on for their playoffs. They're, they're playing a lot more solo queue, it would seem, than than they have been previously. They've been doing very well in that regard. And yeah. Marin being number one, you really see that reflected in a lot of his, oh my, what, what is this build, Marin? <laughs> hey, you gotta move fast, gotta go fast, right? Well, I mean, of course, you have to make sure you have the boots of swiftness so that Nunu can't snowball you. Yep, that's right, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta run those snowballs, you know? <laughs> Home guard. Home guard boots this of swiftness. This is a ridiculous build. Wits end incoming, maybe he'll actually finish it this time. Or no, you just need the extra attack speed. Second dragon for SKT. And again, you know, we see Bliss's Fizz just not really working at all. Long way away from finishing, well, not too long, but a ways away from finishing the Trinity Force still. And even once he gets it, that's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a huge bursty Fizz just yet. Oh, easy Hoon. And quite scary as well. Oh yeah, definitely a very glad a very easy Hoon type champion. So fun to see him play it, especially after Faker a little bit too aggressive on Vladimir last time. Yeah, Faker sometimes has to adjust to some of these more passive metas, considering how he normally just gets in your face right from the start of the laning phase, and Janair really punished him for that one. Yeah. Well, right now Samsung. Not a lot they can do. They uh, actually are in danger of being perfect game. Oh, geez, you're right. Yeah, no turrets, no kills, no nothing, no objectives of any sort. Pretty sure Marin's gonna die in a team fight this game. He's so squishy. Probably, yeah. Well, we know somebody's gonna ruin it, right? It, it's gonna be Marin. Well, they have to win the game in three minutes if they want to beat the average game score for uh, GE. Oh, ult on to Eve. All right, well, they're just gonna push it back so they can take this tier two. Tom's gonna tank some tier hits, I guess, turret hits. Tank some tiers. Oh, ult on to Tom. There's a knock up as well. Oh no, the perfect game, it's gone. Bliss gets a kill. Eve getting very, very low as well. Easy Hoon manages to pick one up, gets way into the back lines. Meanwhile, Bliss trying to finish off Easy Hoon as other people dive the turret. Bang, kind of on his own. He's been, he's been abandoned. Bang manages to get the double though and stay alive. Are you serious? Wow, how did Bang live through that? Wraith, oh, goodbye. Bit of a sloppy team fight from there from SKT. Yeah, uh, Tom really getting matter. a bit too close to the tower and taking a lot of that damage after he did do some good zoning on the backside. And then, of course, a uh, bit of a split team fight as Kuve was getting chased around under the turret by yep. Marin and Wolf there. And Bang just deciding he doesn't want to die though. Decides yeah, to kill that one. <laughs> Knockups coming left and right from the depth charge as well as the Fizz ultimate. Great ult from, from uh, Wolf again, too. Yeah, good ult from Kube, actually, as well. So, uh, easy to get slowed down a little bit thanks to the Grievous Wounds. And bang, so we're going to kite this one out. Wow. Getting that rend off at exactly the right time. Yeah, flash back one, backwards for that. Wraith, uh, making it out. So, no more perfect game for SK Telecom, but there's still 10,000 gold ahead after getting that turret and winning that team fight. So I don't think this one's going to be lasting too much longer. I think Marin's gonna get Frozen Mallet again. All right. See, that's why you get the recurve bow, because then you just get Frozen Mallet. Oh, oh okay, oh, Wolf's just gonna take that, got I guess. It. <laughs> wow. It's like he got it with his W, actually, after throwing a shuriken. I think so. Smooth moves from Wolf. Yeah, so you get Frozen Mallet. You got that super fast attack speed. And you're hitting with the frozen mallet. So there you go. Pro builds for NAR. Thank you, Mari.
All done to Bang. Bang trying to dodge around, taking a lot of damage. Here comes Wolf. Can he save his AD carry? Bliss, there's a knockup with the Fates call. And what a play from Bang and Wolf. Man, Bang was just spamming that R button as Wolf came forward, I think. And Ren. Yep. Finishing up that one. Starting to split push right now. Put the pressure down on all those lanes. Only two dragons actually so far in this game. Easy Hoon just gonna auto <laughs> the inhibitor because nobody wants to stop him. Yeah, he'll need to buy a Lich Bane if he wants to do this much more. Oh, hi you. Lich Bane, not really the best item on Vladimir either. <laughs> hey, if he wants to auto attack <laughs> turrets, I think it's the way to go. I just need more AP for that. <laughs> more AP. I'm sure Death Cap is great here either. He should just get Infinity Edge if he's going to auto attack inhibitors. You know? I think he should just get Spirit Visage this game. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. So if Faker. A little bit tankier. Faker did the same situation. They are running double AP. They have an AP jungler as well. well. Somebody has to be the tank. Eve gets knocked up by Tom. Opside Ultimate gets knocked out of it though by Eve. Meanwhile, Kuve trying to make something happen easy and taking a bit of damage. Fury already extremely low, actually, from that Hemo Plague. Looks like they'll be able to get this mid inhibitor easily. Oh, and the duel begins anew. Bang. With no Prince. support. Oh, there's no flash right now for Bliss. He's in big trouble. And Marn just comes over the wall. He's like, oh, I want a piece of this, too. Delicious fish. Delicious fishes. And SKT. Not a lot stopping them. Easy is just kind of partying in the base right now. He's like me when I play Bard in Earth mode. I just like go through the enemy jungle <laughs> walls and I just like go into their base before any turrets are down. Just dance. I just dance by their inhibitor. Truly the way Bard was meant to be played. Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what the design team had in mind. Yep. Well. Not a whole lot more to say about this one. Dragon up in about 25 seconds. SKT can go and take the third then. Ah, there we go. Wolf opting for the, uh, oh, he already has Righteous Glory, never mind. Okay, so he's yep. gonna get the Zonia's Hourglass. Oh, wah, wah. <laughs> you know, if that was Holy Water, it'd be really good against Blonde <laughs> That's right. <laughs> super, <laughs> super Soaker Priest Graves. That's right. The Bane of the Undead. <laughs> Just regular water, though, so just kind of irritates vampires instead of burning their flesh. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Luckily, Summoner's Rift is a shady place. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a Hemomancer, not a vampire. Whatever. Hemomancer. Oh, Marin. Don't ruin the perfect game even more. Oh, he'll be fine. Marin hasn't ruined it. I was wrong, Doa. <laughs> Tom and Easy Hoon ruined He it. could still participate in the ruining of the perfect game. Anyone who dies at this point is just adding on to the ruination. Yeah, let's see if they... Tom is very low, actually, in the jungle right now. They'll have a hard time going after the Baron. Yeah. I'm sure you needed those Raptors, Tom, buddy. I think you could just go do Baron. It's a bit of a late setup, actually, for SK Telecom. You know, you can say these things, but anyone on SKT right now is going to hear this and be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> It's true. I just want them to be even better, though. What can I say? Well, when you're the coach for SKT, you can do that. <laughs> you just had to have to arrange for Koma to have a, an unfortunate accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wish Koma the best. <laughs> I don't know. Does he have to worry? Does Koma have to watch his back? No, so? no, not at all. I'm, I am content merely watching I can, Koma's handiwork. I can see the, the news headlines now. SKT coach Coma was found slumped over his, keybo his keyboard. Strangely found electrified. <laughs> Freak accident. It's been rainy in Korea, you know? <laughs> SKT's gonna go for the Baron. Someone should warn him. And there's a ward there. That means they can see. Is Eve gonna try for the steal? Here we go. Baron's a bit low. Equalizer coming down. They don't get the Baron, but they do get Tom. Meanwhile, here comes Kennen with that ultimate into the pit. Uh-oh, SKT has Samsung right where they want them. And that's oh, going to be an Oh, that ace. was a good Fates call to oh hit him boy. over the wall. Quadra kill. Wow. For easy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's uh, it's going to be about that. Yep, that's the end of this game. Yep.
24 minutes. They can actually end it. Mario's gonna flash from the minion wave. They can end it faster. They want the they want the fastest game this season. They're going for it. If they can end it before 25:09, they will have the fastest game in Champions this season. I think they're gonna do it. Oh yeah, easy, easy, well ahead. Ending this game. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Ending this game at 24. Waiting for the clock to stop. 24:27. Our fastest game of the season. And a quick 2-0 for SK Telecom to lock up that second place spot here in Champions Korea. Yep. Well, not much to say about that one. Very nope. convincing win. Very one-sided. SKT rolls through. Yes, they do. Like and a, this means that Like greased lightning. <laughs> <laughs> greased lightning. <laughs> Is that what they're like? Go greased lightning. It's like, Do it's, they burn up the quarter mile, though? Why is there not a Grease Lightning Kennen skin? <laughs> I know we're post-game, and usually we don't talk about skins. We talk about how great it is for the team that this That's is happening. That's actually an extremely good question. I know, right. There needs to be a Grease Lightning he skin. He would have for awesome Kenan. hair. <laughs> he would. <laughs> He's a Yordle. He's got tons of hair to do this with. Wow. Get it together, Ryan. Yeah. Please, Rito. Black oh. leather jacket. There you go. Imagine that man right there. Could be playing <laughs> Grease Lightning Kennen. I want Grease Lightning Wolf, too. You can cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, he could rock a pompadour. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Well, tough tough loss for, well, I don't know. Is, is it really that tough for Samsung? They're already going down to the up and down matches. It's all about experience at this point. Again, they have the good foundations, perhaps, for a team. 